Hi, it's Kevin and Kristen from K9 Rehabilitation Center, Cat Sanctuary. And today I'm joined by Violet. And today we're gonna to be putting out a video go, uh, introducing our cradle technique and kind of give you a little bit of backdrop and history on how the cradle technique came about. And then we're gonna play some videos out that show the technique in action with live dogs. So there'll be uh, three or four videos behind this one. So our cradle technique came about 13, 14 years ago now. Um, and it came about directly from the dogs. And I'm really proud to say that. I certainly claim it as our technique. We've been teaching it here at CRCCS for about six years. We've literally taught hundreds of dog owners, past and present employees, um, worked with a number of dog trainers, and that goes, that, that spans anywhere from old time ranchers to the very novice dog owners. And in between, same with trainers, very novice dog trainers to uh, very veteran dog trainers. And today, just wanna give you the backdrop here. This is the cradle. And this has kind of come about and has evolved. And what has happened is, initially started this years, years back, getting to the dog to protect myself. So if I'm walking a dog, and for those of you that work with dogs, dog handlers, dog trainers, even dog owners that redirect, this can be very helpful to you. You have your hand here, which is your communication hand. You have your anchor hand here, which creates this natural cradle. And so if I have a dog that's here and the dog gets too intense, too worked up and wants to redirect, I can simply step out and block the dog. Up underneath the dog's chin, I can block the dog out. Also, from here, if I have the dog looking at a target, a stimulus, even a trigger, before the dog triggers, we've all been there, the dog's getting tense, a little too tight, you can simply guide the dog out. Now, obviously, for demo purposes, but there'll be demos or videos following this one, shows you she's not intense in any way, but that's the guide. You can position around to get a dog to look. Good girl. Or you can use it to get a dog to back up. Good, good. So we're gonna put videos out on all of this. Good girl, my man. Anyhow, why do we claim the cradle technique? Because in the hundreds of people, of all the years of studying, going to national conferences, spending 18 months studying myself to become a certified trainer, spending another 18 months to become a behavior consultant, years of online book studies, going to these national seminars, not once, not a single time. If any of you go on, look on YouTube, I'm sure nobody will ever find this on YouTube and everything's on YouTube. The cradle technique derived from the dog. No human taught us this. This came directly from the dog. If you use this technique for the things that you will were demoed here and that you'll see in following videos, it in fact does take practice. But if you do it, it will be highly effective for both you and your dog. 